Hi, this is the short and sweet, or not so sweet, version of a longer video I did about how to reduce the file sizes of your pictures if you want to upload them to the internet. So if you want to see the long version with all the nitty gritty details and a little extra, um, click on the link that you see on the screen right now and uh, have a peek at that. This one is not going to show you um, a lot of the basic steps you may need. If you're handy with computers, stick with me and I'll show you a quick and easy way to do what you need to do. So first of all, you need to download and install Windows Live Photo Gallery and I'll put the link in the description below. It actually comes combined uh, in a package called Windows Live Essentials. You're going to have to uh, download and install a bunch of different programs to get that. Um, but it's free, the software is good, it's not uh, corrupt or malicious, it's um, uh, authorized by Microsoft, so generally you know it's safe. So, what you need to do once you have Windows Live Photo Gallery installed is go and find your pictures. So I'm going to open up a set of pictures. Here we are and you just click on one of them and if Windows Live Photo Gallery is installed and set up to be the default photo handler then automatically the picture will open up in Windows Live Photo Gallery. At this point you click Edit, Organize or Share and you're going to see a list of all the pictures. Disregard that. You're going to see a list of all the pictures that's, that are in that folder. <coughs> this is the Windows Live Photo Gallery view of the folder I just opened. And this is your standard Microsoft view. Um, I have it set. I'm going on a tangent again. I have it set to extremely large icons, but you can, you, they can look, uh, this contents in your folder can look very different depending on what this setting is. So anyways back to this. So you pick the pictures you want. You can put a check mark beside whichever pictures you want. If you want to just do one or more, more then uh, that's up to you. So as you can see the ones you want are highlighted in blue and it doesn't really matter which one you work with but right click one and you'll see an option for resize. Click on that by default I save my pictures the medium size, they're big enough for good resolution and yet small enough to um, upload pretty quick and easy, doesn't use a lot of bandwidth. You can choose if you know people are going to view your stuff on tablets, mobile devices, phones, you might want to choose a smaller uh, size. So I'm just going to leave it at medium. Where do we want to save the pictures? That's where you pick. I'm going to save them on the desktop. I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to call it Smaller Pictures. I'm going to try. Whoops, that didn't work out. Pictures. <laughs> Smaller. Must be my Canadian accent. Um, and once you have created your folder and named it, press enter on your keyboard. Click OK. And the output, the modified pictures will show up here in smaller pictures. And we're ready to go. Click resize and save. And that's it. You can close Windows Live Photo Gallery. And you can see that the new smaller pictures folder was created on my desktop. I generally like to store all my pictures in my pictures folder for good organization, but for this demo, um, or if I'm doing uh, smaller uh, pictures, I often throw it right on the desktop because it's easy to find and I'm going to delete this after I deal with them. This does not modify the original pictures, this just creates a duplicate that are smaller. So and here we are, these pictures have been modified, you can actually see them indicating the file size of them and let's take a look at this one, Rocky Top Photo Shoot, the old camera. And the file size currently is 465 kilobytes. That's a 
very manageable size for what I want to do. If you want to compare it with the original file size, I'm going to go and browse to that folder. And let's find that uh, same picture and see how big it is. Did I go past it yet? No, I didn't. And which one was I referring to? Perhaps I've totally lost my mind. <laughs> Let's open it up. Okay, I see it's, yeah, that's the one. And that's it right there. So this is the original size. I'm going to drag this off to the side, drag that off to the side. Oh, and now I've done it again, eh? This is supposed to be the short version of the tutorial. <laughs> there we are. There's the photo right there. Um, and if I hover over, it'll tell me that the original size is 1.58 megabytes, which is significantly larger than the modified smaller version, 465 kilobytes. It's less than half the size. That's it. You're done. Again, if you want to see the full tutorial, slow and easy tutorial, check out the link right around here. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Check out my other videos on my channel for other tips and tricks. If you have any questions, you want uh, something explained, leave me a message in the comments. I'd be happy to uh, attempt uh, a tutorial for you. Forgive me if I don't get it done sooner than later. Thanks very much. Have a good day.